In Japan, eel isn't just a dish, it's a cultural emblem, a revitalizing spirit of summer, an amalgamation of traditional and modern culinary arts. Yet behind this for weight lies an undisclosed secret. Many eels labeled as Japanese made actually originate from distant Chinese aquaculture farms. The internet is flooded with news of eel fraud in Japan. Reports suggest that some Japanese businesses repackage eels imported from China and sell them as domestically produced. Such practices not only mislead consumers, but also tarnish the trade integrity between the two nations in a small village in China. There's an eel farming expert named Li Hua who owns an extensive eel breeding pond. Li Hua's farming method is traditional yet effective, bringing him an annual income of 3.8 million. Li Hua employs a multi-mode farming approach. His breeding ponds are open, utilizing natural water sources like rivers, lakes, reservoirs, and groundwater. He only exchanges a small portion of pond water daily relying on planktonic blue-green algae and water wheels or rarators for oxygenation to maintain. Choosing a sunny and water-rich location, Li Huo ensures his breeding ponds have proper drainage systems and necessary facilities. He constructs steel frameworks above the ponds, covered with plastic tiles or film to provide warmth during cold days, maintaining the water temperature around 25 C. high-quality eel fry from reliable suppliers. He introduces the fry into the breeding ponds to commence the farming process, feeding them regularly with high-quality feed. He also conducts routine water quality checks to ensure it's conducive to eel growth. After months of careful farming, Lee was eels grow large and plump, selling them to local markets and distant buyers. Lee Hua's story showcases the fusion of traditional wisdom and modern technology in Chinese eel farming. Through his diligence and attention to detail, his farm has become a local success story. China's eel farming industry has evolved into a massive sector, from the paddy fields in Fujian to the breeding ponds in Guangdong. Eel farming in China spans a wide range of regions. With advancements in farming technology, China's eel production remains the world's largest, becoming a major supplier in the global eel market. In 2022, China's eel market witnessed various changes and developments throughout the year. China maintained its position as the world's largest eel farm, processing, and exporting nation. Statistics show that China's roasted eel exports reached 50,100 tons, although this figure decreased by 16.2% compared to the previous year, and the export value also declined to $990 million, down by 15.6% year-on-year. This downward trend reflects fluctuations in global market demand and changes in the international trade environment. Within China, eel production is mainly concentrated in Fujian and Guangdong provinces, which together account for 98% of the national total outputs. With the gradual maturity of farming technology, especially the rapid development of intensive pond farming models, environmental temperature, 
is no longer the decisive factor limiting eel farming regions, implying that eel production in regions with superior water resources, such as Jiangxi and Hubei, is expected to gradually increase. In terms of export markets, Japan remains the largest destination for Chinese eel exports, accounting for 46.68% of the total export volume and 50.95% of the total export value. Additionally, Malaysia, the United States, and Russia are also significant export destinations for Chinese eels. It is worth noting the challenges facing the eel farming industry. Since eel fry currently cannot be artificially cultured and can only rely on natural fishing, eel fry resources are becoming increasingly scarce. In 2022, a total of 42.45 tons of eel fry were caught during the fishing season. A decrease of 27.81% compared to the previous year. This data indicates that the eel farming industry is to explore new solutions to cope with the depletion of natural resources and changes in market demand. Chinese eels are exported worldwide, including to Japan, through careful packaging and transportation. Globally, eel has become a popular delicacy with each culture having its unique culinary methods. In Japan, eel represents not only gastronomy, but also cultural heritage. In China, eel, with its rich nutrition and unique flavor, has become a regular presence on the dining table. Whether it's the braised eel in China or the grilled eel in Japan, eel, with its unique charm, has conquered the taste buds of countless diners. This video reminds us that food is not just about satisfying our appetites, it also carries culture and integrity. In today's globalized world, understanding the true origin of food and respecting the diligent labor in every process are responsibilities and obligations we, as consumers, should uphold. Let's look forward to a more transparent and fair food market together.